It's been a good harvest. Even though Western Cape wine farmers were faced with the daunting prospect of a failed crop, just like others were faced with in the agricultural sector. Some of the most delicate wines to be seen and bursting with flavor are just some of the descriptions winemakers are giving their latest vintages, with Sauvignon Blanc especially expressive this year. Bellingham Wines is one estate that has benefited from the reprieve. The yield dropped down 200,000 bottles to a total of 1.2 million in output. But that was made up in a significant spike in quality. It was dry, but it was actually quite a cool vintage throughout the ripening period. So we had a slow, longer ripening period. Your good acidity is freshness, lower alcohols because we also harvested earlier, and um, a, a beautiful palate concentration. The reds, the red side, um, we also have tannin structure that are, are, are really well ripened. So they're, they're just soft and juicy and round, and just you're just almost yummy to drink. So that that, but then with that intensity and concentration down on the palate. The cultivars went through a phase of water stress during the drought, resulting in smaller berries with more concentrated flavors something that was seen across the spectrum of red and white wines. Unlike fruit farmers who lost around 80% in production due to water scarcity, wine farmers lost around 15% as the vineyards require less water. They were also quite proactive in adjusting their consumption and needs, according to the growing process. This is basically is the third drought year in a row. So it's you know, that accumulative effect over the last three years that has resulted in the dams, dam levels being so low, which is what we saw this, saw this year, obviously. So the irrigation phase was mostly cut by about 50% in most areas. So, so, yeah, so we adapted the farming process, but also the winemaking process because of that. South African wines, though, will now have to face additional pricing and volume pressures in competing with other international markets. I think the first thing to notice is that the, the obviously the yields are down. So uh, lower yields means lower amount of wine. This is going to put uh, industry-wide pressure in terms of the, especially the bulk producers, with a, with a global uh, sort of glut elsewhere and a shortage in South Africa. It's going to mean that we are, especially our bulk wine market, is going to be more difficult to compete internationally. Um, we've got international co competitors like Spain and Italy, which do have excess wines and, are, allow and are, are finding it easy to produce it at the, at the lower price point. For now, the drought-weary winemakers have a good story to tell. And consumers can expect to enjoy well-structured, classy, but more importantly, proudly South African wine. The drought may have affected the wine industry's overall yields, but the grapes are producing some seriously good wine. And those that are lying in the barrel for the next 12 months are expected to be just as good, if not better, which can only bode well for South African wines overseas. Travis Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.